and I'm going to be back in my kitchen and I have a question for you. Um, how much do you hate kale? I know I did for the longest time, but I also know how incredibly um, nutritious and good for you it is. So do you throw it in smoothies and you put some fruit and you kind of hope for the best, but you're still not crazy about it? Well, I'm going to show you how I make my kale so that it's tender and delicious and I'm gonna convert you from a kale hater to a kale lover. So join me in my kitchen whilst I make me some kale. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some pre-washed kale. This is about 12 ounces and it's already already pre-washed. If you're gonna use fresh kale, you just take the stem and you get your leaves off the stem. Now the only thing when you're using something like this is the stems, there are some stems in there. So I might be going in and trying to remove some of the stems, but uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a pot or a large bowl and we're going to um, try to break down the fibers and massage it so that we can saute it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our kale and we're going to put it in our large bowl. There we go. Want to remove any little twigs that you might see. Again, I'm gonna to try to go through here and pull out some of the really hard stems. But if you buy the fresh kale, and this is fresh kale, it's just already, it's already washed and chopped. But if you buy the fresh, you can use your fingers and kind of like go through the, um, run it down the stem and it should take out all of these. So that's the downside of getting it, getting it pre-washed and everything is you have to deal with some of these stems. So everything else looks good. Just a couple of stems. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to the kale some water and then I'm going to massage it until I can get it broken down as best as I can before I take it to my saute pan. Okay, so I'm going to give it a nice massage. First, we're going to add some water in our kale. I'm going to really, really try to break up these fibers. Next time, I'm going to buy the regular kale because I keep finding these darn stems. I'm going to break down those fibers. Your massage is working, so we're just going to try to break down those fibers. I'm going to do this for hmm, as long as my hands can take it. Probably, I don't even know, five minutes or so. See, it's turning, turning a dark green. That's a good sign. Actually smell it too, the more you break it down. It doesn't smell bad, it just smells like kale. Not hail, doesn't smell like hail, it smells like kale. <laughs> it sounded like I said, it smells like hail. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the water. So we're gonna take about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Put that in our skillet. And we're gonna take about a half of a sweet onion. Just a little less, maybe a quarter of a sweet onion. And we're going to go ahead and slice that nice and thin. Nice thin slices. And we're going to saute that in our olive oil. them until they're translucent and to that I'm going to add my always favorite go-to my California style garlic powder with parsley if you'd prefer to use fresh garlic go for it I love this stuff I'm actually going to put it in right with the onion probably about a tablespoon or two okay I'm going to cook that up together I'm going to take our wooden spoon and we're just going to make sure we saute this up real good. I 
And as soon as this starts to saute, so it's translucent, then I'll be back and I'll put the uh, add the kale and the salt, fresh ground black pepper. If you like spicy, I would add some chili pepper to it. Chili pepper, red hot pepper flakes or chili pepper. If not, you can omit that. I personally am not a pepper fan, but you can if you like that sort of thing. Okay, so let that cook up and I'll be back. Okay, this is right about where we want it. So we're gonna take our kale, place it in the old skillet. Then we will, for sure. You know what? We give this a little turn. Get those flavors incorporated. The olive oil and the garlic and the onion. Let that go. I'm gonna add some Himalayan sea salt. Pink Himalayan sea salt. Give it a little toss. I'm gonna wait for it to wilt and then we're gonna add the rest. Because it's one of those vegetables like spinach that it looks like you have a lot, but really you don't once it cooks down. So I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit and I'll be back. So it's all nice and wilted and sauteed. Got out most of the stems. Looking really good. Now, I wanna add some blanched, sliced blanched almonds. I'm gonna give it a little bit extra crunch and a little bit more flavor. So we're gonna add some almonds. And we're just going to toss that around again, let that saute, let the almond saute. And once that is all sauteed together, I'm going to plate it. Might even add a little something extra to it. And we'll give it a taste test. So there you go. It looks delicious, smells delicious. And I'll be back for the plating and the taste test. So now we're going to plate it. To that, we're going to add a little bit more of the almonds. And now what I'm going to add is a little bit of crispy onions. The kind you put on your salad and stuff. I'm going to put a couple of those on the top. Give it a little bit more crunch. There you go. have my delicious sautéed kale. Guys, here's my taste test. It's going to be delicious because I made it. But do it again. A little bit of the almonds, a little bit of the onions. Mmm. Really good. I'm gonna have me a plate of kale. I never thought I'd see the day, but I'm liking it. It's all in how you cook it. Make sure you break those fibers down, massage it in the water. Don't forget to add the almonds at the end, some crispy onions on the top. This is a great as a dinner side dish, um, along with maybe another veggie. It's all veggies, it's all about the veggies. This is really, really good. The only thing I would do different is I would get the fresh kale that was not chopped because I had a heck of a time getting out all of the stems. But 
Next time I'm gonna use the regular kale and just use my fingers and take the, uh, the leaves off. But this is really, really, really good. I hope you try it. If you do, please let me know what you think. And um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll see you in the guest. Subscribe to the channel, please. And I'll see you in the next go around. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.